Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode, and welcome my friends to the video you have all been waiting for. This is the episode, we are going to show you some insane footage from the world's first Town Hall 8 Legend League player, BPI. Now, BPI actually originates from China, and I am from the UK, so we are in two completely different time zones, so I wasn't able to gather that much footage, guys, because obviously when he's asleep, I'm awake, when I'm awake, he's asleep. Now the footage you are about to see was actually sent to me by the owner of the Savage Clan family, Harry. Now Harry has his own YouTube channel, I will leave it, it will be the first link in the description box down below. Please feel free to go over and check his channel out, he almost has 20,000 subs. Go and drop him a sub guys and tell him Tony sent you. So now it's time to get ourselves into the world record footage, the world's first Town Hall 8 Legend League BPI. Now check out this gameplay, now at the time of recording, he is of course a Town Hall 8, he is the world record holder at 4,980 cups, but now of course, he actually has a, a trophy record of 5,005 trophies, so he is inside of the Legends League, and check out this base that he came across, look at that, how lucky is that to find that? Just under 5k trophies is pretty damn lucky. That must be like winning the lottery. So it's all about the attack strategy, guys. Of course, there are so many Town of 8s currently watching this video. So why not go ahead and try out the exact same attack strategy? See how you can do with it and let me know down below in that comment section. Please do not forget to drop a like on this episode just to show some support to the channel and to show some love to the Savage family. As I said, there will be a link to the original Savage Clash channel down below in that comment section. Sorry, down below in the description. Go and sub to their channel, guys, if you want to stay up to date with all of their content. So check it out. I mean, this was a very lucky find. BPI. Is he about to three start this Town Hall 11 base in complete fashion using what is he using? I think he's using a Gova. Is he using Gova? No, no, he hasn't got any hog riders. Using a Gova Wii, he's got a couple of wizards inside of there, so some golems. Oh, he's also got a Pekka, so yeah, a very strange army, pretty damn awesome, incorporating loads and loads of different Town Hall 8 troops or troops which are available at Town Hall 8. And check it out, guys, he is about to three star a Town Hall 11 base just under 5k trophies. Let's see how many cups. He actually grabs from it, can we see? He grabbed 8 trophies, taking in just under 5,000. So now that we've seen that Town Hall 8 Legend League player, I wanted to show you this Town Hall 9 Legend League player in the exact same clan, guys, Savage 8.9. As I said, massive shout out to every member of the clan. And check out this guy, he's going to be using, I believe, a Dragalunian against this Legend League Town Hall 11. Now, of course, he's still a Town Hall 9, although he's not Town Hall 8. Town Hall 9 Legend player, you still have to give them complete thumbs up, guys, because this is some serious dedication. I mean, even a Town Hall 11 hitting the Legends League, it's not easy. I mean, it, it, it may be easier, but it just takes so much time, so much dedication to push yourself up there and just wait in the clouds until you find a couple of bases, guys. So honestly, I take my hat off, although I'm not even wearing a hat. If you've made it this far into the video, comment down below, hashtag Tony get a hat, and then let me know what hat you want me to get. So check it out guys, the dragon moving over to the right hand side there, doing some damage to the uh, the gold collector, sending in the last couple of dragons, still got one or two left inside of the army comp, and of course an attacking clan castle and the two heroes. Now there was one attack particularly earlier, which I actually showed in the previous episode, if you want to feel free and go and check that out, guys. A Town Hall 9, two starred, a Town Hall 11 in the Legends League. That was pretty damn awesome, and definitely one of the most classy attacks I have seen for quite some time. So we're going to actually end this here, guys, end this footage here. And what we're about to do now, I'm going to show you some troll-based footage, which I've been using over the last couple of weeks. So I'm, I'm sure loads of you have noticed I've been using this base. It's not really the best guys, I'm not going to lie to you, but we have won so many trophies from it, but we have lost way too much loot. Now obviously since the update did come out just over a week ago, I haven't really put too much focus on having fun inside of the game really guys. I mean I've done some gem sprees, I've tried out some of the new features, you know the new level troops, we've tried out the new bomb tower, but to be honest with you, I'm not really happy about the videos I've been making over the last week or so. They're not really having that, uh, that sort of entertainment value to them. So what I'm going to do tonight, guys, it is currently 12.44 a.m., so it's gone uh, gone midnight. I'm going to stay up till maybe 3 a.m. I'm going to make a couple of different troll bases, and we're going to have some fun this week, guys. It's time to bring the fun back into the channel, because the new update, yeah, it's, it's okay. I wouldn't say it's the best. It actually 
was, I think, a little bit overhyped. Don't forget, guys, one quick announcement. Let me just tell you this. There was actually a post by Supercell earlier on today on their social media, on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, I believe, and they basically posted a screenshot or, you know, just like a, a kind of like an animation that there will be a Halloween update coming into COC very shortly. I'm guessing this weekend, guys, so maybe Friday, maybe Thursday, Friday, Saturday, something like that, or maybe latest Monday, although that's past Halloween. Is it past Halloween? I think so. I don't even know what date Halloween is. I think it's the 28th or the 29th. Let me know down below, guys. But basically, Supercell posted posted on their social media that there will be a cool Halloween update coming into the game and the reason why I'm mentioning this is about a week ago I made a video on this channel leaking all of the Halloween update features and if these come true then this is going to be one awesome awesome update so please guys if this is the first time you are seeing the channel make sure you drop a sub to this channel help us reach 900,000 subscribers it only takes a second to subscribe guys and of course you will get all of the content on a daily basis sent straight to your sub box so let's see what happens inside of this attack. This guy is actually trying to take on my base using 72 maxed out goblins. But of course it's a troll base and I pretty much offer so much loot available right now. I mean check on the left hand side. There's over a million loot inside of this base. I don't know I don't know why there was so much. I mean I think I was trying to save a little bit. Maybe trying to upgrade some of those new defenses. I've spent it all now. Don't worry guys. I just spent 6 million of it at the start of this video on 3 air mines. So we are uh, I think we're maxing out 3 of those, uh, those black air mines. The air bombs, I think, possibly already maxed out. So what we have left to upgrade, a couple of defenses, the heroes, a couple of spells, and pretty much, uh, you know, a couple of hundred walls. So we still have quite a while to go. As I said, I will not stop playing this game until one day we receive a maxed out Town Hall 11 base. I reckon it's going to take me another, I reckon another 8 months, 8 to 10 months, and I could possibly have a maxed out Town Hall 11 base. Of course, it does depend if there is a new wall level coming into the game at Christmas or something around that date, because if there is, then I'm in so much trouble. I mean, there's no way I can max out two more wall levels, guys. It's just not going to happen. So check it out. Although he did manage to grab all of my loot, the troll base kind of, you know, semi-worked, I would say. He didn't get a win. So check it out, making our way into the final replay, guys. And this guy is actually using, what is that, level 4 dragon. So a town hall, I don't even know what town hall level this is. He's actually got quite low level troops, which is, uh, well, not surprising. I'm only inside of the Masters 1 League. So there are a lot of town hall 9s and 10s inside of this league. Now, I'm kind of feeling getting a little bit bored right now inside of the Masters League. So I may actually move up in trophies. And obviously, because I have been in Savage 8.9, and the other Savage family clans over the last couple of days, it's actually really made me want a trophy push. It's kind of weird how that works. I'm sure if I went into a farming clan, I would want a farm. If I went into a war clan, I would want a war. But because I've been in a trophy pushing clan, it really makes me want to push in trophies, guys. So if you want to see that, drop a like on this video. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet because we do still have quite a lot to max out inside of the base. And I've always said I don't want to really do a massive push until I at least have level 40 heroes and, of course, a level 20 grand warden. So uh, I'm going to try my best to do that. But check this out. This guy's dragons, only level 4, haven't really done too much damage to the base. And it looks like we are going to be walking away with another victory. So although this troll base completely sucks and I will not be using it anymore, it does kind of win me some trophies. So I'm not quite sure what troll bases I'm going to make over the next couple of hours. One of them is probably going to be kind of like a loot troll base. And the second one maybe like a little mini maze base or something really cool. But something slightly different as well that hopefully is original, unique and hasn't been done on YouTube before. Because I, I really don't want to go down the route of, you know, copying other people's bases or just copying my own previous bases. Because that just completely sucks and it isn't very original. So this guy's raid is about to end over guys. We're just going to get ourselves into one final attack and do a quick recap of the uh, the update leaks which are supposedly leaked for the Halloween update guys in what is it it's supposed to be in about a week's time I believe so the biggest one we received was the actual shipwreck now there is a video on my channel explaining all of this you will see it. it's very noticeable it has like 900,000 views guys and it's about five days old so if you want to see that go and find that video on my channel there is a uh, the thumbnail is actually of the shipwreck guys so it's been leaked by chief spencer over on the reddit forum and of course there is also some uh, some red heroes for the uh, the red event inside of coc we're also going to be receiving a brand new barbarian statue and some other cool features of course we are getting the standard halloween you know the halloween ornament or whatever you want to call it the cauldron although it won't be a cauldron this year apparently it's going to be a pumpkin and it's like a, an open grass pumpkin or something it looks okay i wouldn't say it looks the best guys 
And I think that pretty much covers the Halloween update, or those are the features that have been leaked so far. There were also a couple of other ones like a level 7 air sweeper and a level 9 air defense, but I don't really see them coming into the game. You never know with Supercell guys, they do some random stuff sometimes, so let's just, uh, you know, have our fingers crossed, everyone cross your fingers. Go to sleep and pray that Supercell brings us an awesome Halloween update. So I will see you very shortly, guys. Please leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Help us reach 900,000 subs. Don't forget to go and check out the Savage Clash channel. There will be a link to it in the description box down below. Comment down below, guys, what feature you are most looking forward to in the Halloween update. I will see you shortly. Have a great evening. Peace out.